Now let's move to the concept of reciprocal space. It may seem a bit complex and not very intuitive, but it's really useful in many areas of physics. For a human, it's natural to measure the world in meters and time in seconds, but many physical processes are easier to understand in reciprocal space, for example momentum space and energy space. Think about a pendulum. You can characterize it by a period, measured in seconds. But alternatively, you can also report the frequency of its oscillations in inverse hertz. The same is valid for a crystal. It exists in real space, where the distances are usually measured in angstroms, but it also exists in the reciprocal space, when the distances are measured in inverse angstroms. Now let's get to this image of my material and check how it looks in the reciprocal space. Now we observe a set of well-defined spots, which is a clear indication that this material is indeed a crystal. By the way, this image is in fact an electron diffraction pattern. And it's another useful property of reciprocal space. The diffraction pattern gives us an image of our material in reciprocal space.